Number six, Maryland civil rights leaders traveled all across the Eastern Shore today on a bus tour to remind Marylanders of the need to eliminate systemic racism and police misconduct. Sutton Miller tells us more about what kind of changes they want to see addressed for uh, about these inequalities in our state. This is a bus tour on a mission, traveling over 100 miles across Maryland's eastern shore on Monday to send the message that change needs to happen now to address systematic racism and express concerns about the recent violent teen arrests on the boardwalk in Ocean City. We are mobilizing, organizing, energizing the community to make it crystal clear what happened in Ocean City, Maryland is unacceptable. A group of black teens were arrested in June for vaping, including one who was repeatedly kneed by Ocean City police. Tour organizers say the incident is just one example of racial injustice and police misconduct that's happened here. They want people to know they won't stand for it. We're going from one uh, city in uh, along Maryland's eastern shore, stopping and reminding people that in Ocean City, Maryland, that what occurred there was not an aberration. The tour is similar to the Freedom Rides of the 1960s, which were designed to highlight racial inequities in the South. This group has the same goal. They made stops in towns from Annapolis to Ocean City so they can voice their concerns about the way the teens in the boardwalk and other African Americans have been treated. We have to stand up for what is wrong, irregardless who does it. So that's why it was important. And civil rights leaders are meeting with Ocean City Mayor Rick Meehan this evening and are hoping that this tour will start to change some of the policies that they say are causing systematic racism. In Cambridge, Stetson Miller for WJZ.